Florida's governor is getting sued for signing what critics call the don't say gay bill earlier this week. The federal lawsuit alleges the state's new law violates the U.S. Constitution. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders has more from Tallahassee tonight. The plaintiffs include LGBTQ rights groups, gay parents, even transgender students. Their issue is this key provision in HB 1557. Under threat of legal action, it prohibits instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity in K through three classrooms or in a manner not age appropriate. This bill is very clearly an attack on LGBTQ people. It's very clearly an effort to try to censor conversations about us. Brandon Wolf with Equality Florida says the law violates the nation's first and 14th amendments. They're suing, he says, because it's too vague, unfair, and an affront to free speech. No matter how long this process takes, no matter uh, what, the, what the challenges are along the way, it's our responsibility to show up. DeSantis signed the bill on Monday, calling it protection for young children from mature curriculum. His press office has dismissed the lawsuit as a, quote, political Hail Mary to undermine parental rights in Florida. Also going after Disney, which said this week it would seek a repeal of the law. Disney's posturing has alienated a lot of people now. DeSantis kept up that rhetoric during a Thursday press conference, saying he'd support the repeal of a 1967 law, allowing the company to create its own local government. We're certainly not going to bend a knee uh, to woke executives in California. That is not the way the state's going to be run. Um, so uh, I, I would say reevaluate any special privileges in the law. Meanwhile, members of the Biden administration Administration remain opposed to HB 1557. If uh, in the implementation uh, we received requests for investigations, we will thoroughly investigate. Speaking in Orlando, the U.S. Ed Secretary reminded Floridians they can file discrimination complaints with the Office of Civil Rights. To the students and the, and the, and the parents, I hear you, I see you, um, and we've got your back. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.